Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually get a hold of a really good program. So the first thing I'm going to do is go uninstall the firewalls that I have set up. Because this is an all-in-one solution for firewall, a HIP system, and the antivirus all in one. To get both with this configuration in my old my previous video for Komodo Firewall and Zone Alarm. The Zone Alarm is a HIPS and Komodo Firewall is a rule based firewall. The two of them together work fairly well. It does slow your connection down just a tiny bit because of what all both firewalls are doing to check everything and verify that you know it's nothing malicious or anything like that. So the solution that I'm going to provide for this particular setup is Komodo Internet Security Suite Premium, which has the Komodo antivirus, Komodo firewall, which has the role-based firewall, and it also has the Komodo HIPS firewall built into it. So you actually have the heuristic intrusion prevention system that Zone Alarm provided that is all in one application and works very very well so whenever you're browsing the internet every packet goes through both the rules engine is also checked by the hip system to verify whether or not it is a malicious package okay so now that i have both of those uninstalled you're wanna, gonna want to search for komodo internet security and you see this link here that says download free internet security from Komodo. Click that. I will provide a link in the description for this. So you can just click that link if you want to to go to it. If you want to do the searching for it, I just showed you how to find it. And you can see you have complete security, complete 8, Pro 8, and Komodo internet security. This one's the free download that you don't have to pay for. Don't worry. The core engine across all three of these is exactly the same. These just add a few extra things like this one has the virus free guarantee, uh, life expert virus removal, live expert virus removal, and all in one protection. This has the all in one protection. And then this one has the live expert virus removal, secured online backup, remote help 24 7, and the Trust Connect Wi Fi security. Not really too worried about those. The free one has pretty much everything anyway so we're going to go with that one so if you click the free button you can download the antivirus and firewall and hips all in one package click save file if you're downloading this in internet explorer or in google chrome you'll have a bar in ie down here in google chrome you'll have a little window down here that shows the download this is in firefox so it's up here and as soon as it finishes it'll turn into a blue down arrow once that's done, just click there, click on the file, and it'll launch the installer. As soon as the installer starts, you can close the uh, browser. With Internet Explorer, it'll pop up run down here. Just click run, and with Google Chrome, once the download finishes, you just click on it, and it'll start the install from there. And it says I have to restart the computer now. I'm going to go ahead and restart it. In most cases, yours isn't going to request a restart, but since it was pending a restart, and if it's pending a restart, it is going to request that you restart the system, which is no biggie. Okay, and if you had to restart and you can't find your installer file, go to File Explorer, and Windows 7, or yeah, Windows 7 and down, it's going to be called Windows Explorer. Go to your Downloads folder. And then just double click on the CIS Premium Installer. And that will relaunch the installer. User account control comes up. Just click yes. Select your language. Once you have that selected, click OK. Now, if you want to receive email and stuff, you can put that in. You don't have to put in your email address. You can also deselect the send anonymous program usage and you do want to leave the cloud behavior analysis of unrecognized programs click next then you can leave set my home page and engine to the default 
browser's new tab to Yahoo or you can deselect that if you want to go with whatever or leave your system with whatever the default is click agree and install now it's going to go through and install Komodo it will install what they call geek buddy I'm going to show you how to remove that so it's not annoying the ever loving hell out of you um, geek buddy is their provided service for taking care of issues on your system we're not going to use that don't really care to use it we're going to end up removing it don't worry you can uninstall it without it hurting your system at all and the Komodo suite will continue to function and work just fine without it if you do want to use geek buddy and go through them and pay them to take care of your computer problems hey you're more than welcome to it's actually not a bad service I just prefer not to use it because I take care of everything myself. The other thing that I do like about Internet Security Premium is it does not by default install freaking Chrome, the Komodo Dragon browser. So that's another nice thing about the newer version because Komodo Dragon can be kind of aggravating. And if you've already got Google Chrome, it's pretty much the same thing. It's based off of Chrome. All right, so once you get it installed, go to Programs and Features first. Or if you're running IOBit Advanced System Care and you have IOBit Uninstaller, you can go to Uninstaller, select Geek Buddy, and hit the Delete button to remove it. It's going to go ahead and automatically update. And we're going to go Uninstall Geek Buddy. Click Geek Buddy, click the Uninstall button. It'll pop up asking for sure. Click yes. User account control pops up. Just click yes. Once this pops up, if you're on your home network, select I am at home. And that tells it that you are on your own internal home network and not on an open network. Because if you make it think you're on an open network, it will lock your system down so tight you're going to have a difficult time browsing the internet. Now that Geek Buddy's uninstalled, of course, if it does find, uh, once it gets done updating the signatures and everything, it should kick off the initial first scan on the system. But once it completely downloads the signatures, most of the time it's going to want you to go ahead and reboot the system with the new install. Bear in mind that downloading the signatures can take a little while. As you can see, the virus database is at 33 percent you'll also have this bar up here in the top right hand corner if you don't like that bar being there once the install is complete i'm going to show you how to actually remove that bar from the top right hand corner and now that it's got all of it updated it's going to kick off the first initial scan and then after this it should be ready for the reboot there we go scan finished now you can click close and there's the reboot so we're going to go ahead and hit restart now and restart the system as soon as it comes back up We'll show you how to remove the freaking Komodo widget up here. Alright, now the OS is booted. Give it a few seconds to fully load up the HIP system. There it is. So you shrink that down. Right click up here on the Komodo so you don't accidentally click on anything else. Come down here to widget. Deselect show and it's gone. So now you'll have Komodo running right here in the background. You pull it up. All you got to do is double click it. If you no longer want that coming up anymore, click do not show this again and close it. You'll never see it again whenever you open it up. And now we're going to go in and make some configuration changes. The primary one is how to do exclusions. So if you have a folder that you don't want it to search in. And I'm also going to show you how to turn the HIP system on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come here, click this button up here on hips, click on disabled, and you're going to come down here and put it in training mode. You don't want to set it on anything else right off the bat because in training mode it will give it seven days to learn what is normal traffic for you and what you do before it switches over and starts actually actively blocking things. I know that sounds bad, don't freak out because honestly it doesn't block as much as you would be afraid that it does. 
The antivirus, you can click here, disable it, set it to where it's on access. So as soon as it accesses a file, it scans it. I generally leave it on stateful, but you can set it on access if you're extremely paranoid, especially if you use a lot of USB media. That is really good because as soon as it goes to access it, if it finds something that is malware or, well, malware, viruses, anything like that that has malicious intent, it will go in and automatically remove it as long as it actually has a rule for it or signature. One of the biggest reasons why it's absolutely important to keep that database updated. So that is going to be a major help. Your firewall generally runs in safe mode, which is fine. Safe mode does not mean that it's barely creeping. Safe mode means that it is actually running your system in a safe mode configuration where it's protecting your network connection. That's where it's using its rule database to help protect your system. So if there's something that you want to exclude, you click on antivirus here from the settings menu. And then you just come right here under the antivirus to exclusions. Right click in this box and then you can add file groups. You can add specific files or you can add a folder so it doesn't check that folder at all. You can also click here on excluded applications and add specific applications to the list so it doesn't freak out when they're running. This information is out there for absolutely everybody as always. Watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.